Hello guys. Today we are going to make some popsicles. You guys can do this at home too, or you don't have to. You can just watch me do it and live through me. Um, <clears throat> we're going to make uh, three different kinds of popsicles. We are going to make lemonade popsicles. We're going to make grapefruit popsicles, and then we're going to make pink lemonade popsicles. Uh, we are going to start by making our own juice because we need to make juice to freeze so that the frozen juice can turn into popsicles. So that's what we do. Juice, freeze, popsicles. All right. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to make some of the juice today. Um, my mom has a grapefruit tree and a lemon tree in her backyard. And she said I could borrow both of them, um, some lemons and some grapefruits off of her tree, which was super cool of her. Uh, we are going to make just a little bit of lemonade and just a little bit of grapefruit juice. So we can try all the different kinds. If you want, you can make a whole lot of lemonade or a whole lot of grapefruit juice. You can use any juice you want though. My mom didn't have any oranges, but you can use orange juice too. That would be cool. So, okay. So here we go. Uh, first things first, let me show you. We got here, we have lemon and we have a grapefruit. Let me fix this a little bit. I want to get my head cut off. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So we have a grapefruit and a lemon. This grapefruit is a little green. It's not great, but we're going to try it anyway. Just why not? And this lemon isn't the one my mom gave me. I, I don't want to be untrue. Let me check. Here are the ones my mom gave. When you buy ones at the store, they look nicer than the ones you get off the tree usually. Which one looks nicer? Uh, that one, <laughs> right? This one's all bumpy and gross and dirty and it's not even ripe. So that's why I'm going to use the one from the store. The first thing we need to do when we are making lemonade, start with lemonade, is we need to wash our lemons, okay? So I'm gonna go wash them. <laughs> we don't want any dirt <clears throat> from our lemons to get into our lemonade, because that would taste really disgusting. So I'm gonna dry them off just a little bit. You don't have to dry them off, but I feel like drying them off. There you go. All right, next, you are going to have to Cut your lemon in half. We've practiced cutting all last year, okay? So if you're new this year, uh, you haven't worked on cutting, but mom can show you at home, mom and dad, uh, and the rest of you should know how to cut. See if you can remember. Okay, remember, we're gonna put the, now you just put them down. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my knife, and I'm going to slice it down. Okay, remember how we did that last year? Be very careful of your fingers. All right. Now we have to juice our lemon. That means that we can't put this in a cup like this and be like, hello, this is lemonade. No, we got to get the juice out of the lemons. We have made lemonade at Thousand Oaks High School. We have made lemonade at Redwood. We've made lemonade in summer school. So you guys should know how to squeeze lemons, okay? This is the harder way. This is my juicer. On the top, it's got a little hat looking thing. And this, these little holes catch the pulp, which is kind of the chewy part of the lemon and takes out the seeds. It goes on top of the little cup here, like that. And the juice runs down into my cup. And it has a little pouring thing here too, which I like. All right, so this is what we do. Put the lemon, the juicy side down on top, right in the middle. I like to put the little hole, see the little hole in the lemon, just to get in the hole. And then you have to push down really hard, okay? Push, push, push. Push, push, push. <clears throat> lemons are so much easier to do than limes. I have to do lots of limes for my recipes. And lemons are so much easier. Look at that, squeezy, squeezy, easy, squeezy. All right, so, cool. See, all gone. Hmm, it smells like summer. Okay, you look here. There's some juice in there now. There was not juice in there before. We're gonna do the other one. This recipe 
that we're doing calls for three tablespoons of lemon, okay? I don't know if this will be enough, we'll see. You have to push down hard, guys. Use all of your muscle. Muscle, 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 muscle. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Ow. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. I actually don't. This isn't the best. Don't buy this one. It kind of hurts me on the edges. You need a bigger one. Ugh. There we go. Mmm. Smells like summer again. Okay. Three tablespoons. Well, that sure is handy. It looks like we're a little short. So... I'm going to use another lemon. I just happen to have another one here. See? I'm going to wash it off. That was a very fast wash. What do I do again? Do you remember? Cut it in half. What's really nice about this juicer is it has measurements on the side like a measuring cup. So it tells me how much I have in here. We're just a little under. Okay, three tablespoons is also one fourth cup. If you see here, there's one fourth right there. We're just a little short. So we're gonna just go ahead and put this in. So it took us two lemons. In the recipe, it said it would only take one lemon. So I guess our lemons are not very juicy. Whoop. Look at that. It got backed up. You can see there's uh, like a lot of liquid because the pulp is... If I move the pulp around, then the liquid will drop down a little more. All right. So now I'm going to take off the lid carefully because it's going to spill if I'm not careful. And here we have our cup of lemon juice. Now... We have to add stuff to our lemon juice because lemon juice by itself is super, super sour. And it's like, if you eat it, it's really gross. So we have to put lots of sugar in it to make it taste good. Here, our recipe is going to call for, um, it called for one quarter cup of hot water. So I filled this up and I stuck it in the microwave for a minute and it got the water really hot. So check it out. Can you see how it's a quarter cup? Okay, you see the quarter down there? One fourth cup, right there. All right, but remember when we measure, we always keep it flat. So you're gonna pretend that this is flat on the table. Okay, and it's at the line for one fourth cup. You see that? It's hard because I don't have enough fingers <laughs> and hands to point it out. But when you do it with mom and dad, if you do it with mom and dad, then you can, um, they'll show you how to measure it. Okay, then we need to put two tablespoons of sugar. There's my sugar. I have a big sugar jar. I don't, um, I don't do it the other way uh, with like a sugar. Actually, I have a sugar bowl too, but I'm using my sugar jar. And um, I'm going to take two tablespoons. Do you remember how we did this? So much over the school year in February and March and January. Do you remember? Okay, so we're gonna take real close for this one. Okay, we'll take a bunch of sugar. I'm gonna scoop it really hard. See how it's heaping? You remember how we did this? And we slide. Okay, I'm gonna put that in with my water. We're going to scoop it again. And slide. All right. And we're going to put it in the water. That was two tablespoons. It says tablespoons on it, if you look closely. Uh, these are not the best. There we go. Tablespoon. T tablespoon. You can see it, right? All right. So tablespoons. I'm going to use the same one to stir it. And you're going to stir, stir, stir. Right now you can see the sugar in the bottom. See how it's sitting in the bottom like that? We're going to stir it until the sugar disappears. Hopefully the water stayed warm enough that it's going to disappear. It's disappearing. It's disappearing. It dissolved. This is called dissolving. 
in the water. So cool. Look, it's not at the bottom anymore. Isn't that cool? It dissolved. All right, so what's cool about this recipe is it makes only a little bit of lemonade. And um, the next thing we have to do is put our lemon juice in here with our simple syrup. If you mix water and hot water and sugar together like that, it's called a simple syrup. Mm, sour. Stir it up. And then I kind of forget how much, so I'm going to check my phone here. <laughs> this is where I keep my recipes. Um, we're going to put three quarter cup cold water. Three quarter cup, I think? No, I do not. Three quarter cup. Three quarter cup. I don't know where my other cup thing is. <laughs> three quarter. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to cheat. Don't do what I do. You should be using a liquid measuring cup. Did you say three quarters? No. Okay. <clears throat> it says now that we need to add three quarters cups of cold water. This is cold. I got it out of the refrigerator. Go one, two, three quarters. Okay, you're not usually going to do that, but you did it this time. I told you to. All right. All right. I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna taste it. Give it a taste. Hmm. It's a little sour still, but it's okay. I'm going to keep it that way. It's pretty good. I like it. Now, we're going to put this aside. I'm going to put it over here. Um, and then we're going to work on the grapefruit. I'm going to show you a different way to squeeze everything. All right, I'll see you in one second. Okay, guys, I'm back. And it's time to check out the grapefruit juice. Actually, didn't heat up any water this time, but we might not need water as much for this. We'll see. Okay. All right. So this is our grapefruit. We already washed it in our last video, but we're going to do the same thing we did to the lemon. We're going to cut it in half. It looks just a little bit different inside. It's a little, it's a little rosy looking inside. Check this out. This is super cool. Move all this stuff over. This, I got this for my birthday last year because I love lemons, lemon juice, and lime juice in my recipes. So this is a uh, electric juicer. I won't show you all the parts because you probably don't have one at home. But if you have one at home, mom or dad can help you. They do this. Right. Oh, hello. Do you remember when we did this at Redwood? Mrs. Hayden brought in her electric mixer and it was very helpful. You guys did so good. I remember and you guys were awesome at it. All right, we're gonna do the same thing, but it's going to automatically juice it. So you need to cover your ears because it's gonna get a little loud, okay? Cover your ears if it's loud. Ready? Cover, cover now. Okay, here we go. Ooh, so juicy. So I have to push down hard, but not as hard. Ooh, oh, it's shooting everywhere. It's crazy. Look how fast and easy. So much easier. Okay, I'm gonna do the other one. Mm, so juicy. Now, this shouldn't be too sour. But it probably will. So it'll still be sour, just not as bad as the one. And ta da! Look how easy that was. It's so much faster. Unplug it too because we know that plugging and unplugging now don't we? So here we go. We're going to do the same thing we did last time. Actually, let me taste it first. Let me taste it a little bit. It's pretty good. It's a little, it's a little sour, but I'm not going to add 
the simple syrup because I forgot to make it during our little break. Uh, and I think it'll just be too, too much for you guys to watch. I'm going to go ahead and pour it in here. Okay. Actually, I am going to. So you guys just hold on one second. All right. I heated up my water after all. I put it in this cup this time because I'm out of measuring cups. It's hot. Can you see steam? Ooh, steamy. Ah, oh, you can. That's cool. All right. And do you guys remember how many tablespoons of sugar I was supposed to put in? You said two. I think you're right. So we have one. You know what? We can practice our shaking, too. Remember how we talked about sometimes you can just shake it flat? You can shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Look, it, shake, it shook flat. Okay, so you can do that too, right? Remember, we practiced and practiced. Shaky, 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 shaky. Moms and dads, your kids should know how to do this, how to level it and shake it. All right, let's stir it up. Stir, stir, stir. Dissolve it. Ooh. It disappeared just like before. Okay, I'm going to add it to my grapefruit juice. And I am going to mix, mix, mix. And then maybe it won't be so sour this time, huh? It was actually pretty good. Better than I thought it would be. Oh, that's really good. Might be a little too sweet, but since it's going to be a popsicle, that's okay. Because some popsicles are made of straight sugar, so this is still an improvement. So, now we have our lemonade and our grapefruit juice. All right, and in the next video, I'm going to show you how to make these things into popsicles. All right, see you in a second. All right, guys, here we go. We are going to make actual popsicles out of our juice. There's two different kinds of popsicles we're going to make. We are going to make ice cube popsicles, and we are going to make otter pop popsicles. All right, the first thing you're going to need is a uh, ice cube tray like this. Most people in the world have ice in their refrigerator because they live in the 20th century but we do not. Ours is broken, so we use these old-fashioned trays. Let me rinse it out. It's a little dusty. So if you have some trays laying around your house, they might also be dusty because, you know, no one uses them anymore. So embarrassing. All right. But they're good for popsicles, so that's good. We're going to do, these are the ones, you're going to need these, and then uh, these are otter pop things, and I'll show you them, but you probably don't have them at home. You can get them off of Amazon internet if you're very excited about them. Uh, we'll do that in a second. All right, so first I want to show you what we're going to do here is we're going to take our different juices, and we're going to pour them into each little cup. All right? A little bit in this one. You see how I did that? You see it? I don't want to pour it out. There you go. You can see it in there, right? Actually, I can show you. I'll just pick it up. Show you. You see? See how I put it in there? So filled it up not too high, not to the very, very top, but close. Now I'm just going to make a couple of these. Oops, that was a little full. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. All right, cool. I need six grapefruit ones. And now I'm going to make Whoa. one, two, three, four lemonade ones. Because I want to save some of these lemonade ones for my Otter Pops. And then I wanted to show you my cheat. <laughs> You do not want to make your own lemonade because it's lots of work or you don't have lemons. You can buy a juice at any store. 
I bought this strawberry lemonade at Trader Joe's, and you can just use that. Just take it and use it. It's very easy. You don't have to make the juice. You can buy it. But if you want it cold, it's delicious. All right, we're going to put a little bit in a smaller cup because it's hard to pour from a big, big, big bottle. I'm going to pour them in. Now, imagine how fast this would be if... Whoa. If we had never even made the other kind, huh? And my kitchen's sticky too because I used, used made my own juice and now it's all sticky all over the time. Right. Mm, so good. You guys see the tray is completely full. So fun. All right, now we have a popsicle. You have to hold the popsicle by the stick. Right? You need a popsicle stick. Otherwise, it's just a weird shaped ice cube. Right? Okay, so Mr. Cummings taught me this trick. This is saran wrap. Bring it down. I always have to move that, don't I? Saran wrap. Pull a little bit out. Just go. Oops. I'm going to put this on top. Mom and dad might want to help you with this part. It's kind of tricky. I always use the press and seal for everything because it sticks really easy. This is something we should work on next year is using plastic wrap and foil. It's actually kind of hard sometimes. Like that. I'm going to make it really tight. All right. Now, if you don't do this and you put toothpicks in and your toothpicks are very small, then the little stick to hold your popsicle is going to be really tiny and it's going to be hard. So you don't have to do this, but you should do this if your toothpicks are short. If you have big toothpicks, go ahead and just stick them in. You don't even need the plastic. They'll just kind of hang out. All right. So let me show you how we have to do it, though. I have toothpicks here. And I'm just going to poke through, poke through the plastic wrap. Pop. Pop. Pull this out. This part could be very exciting for you because it's very excited, exciting for me. It is very fun to do. You might need someone to hold the plastic wrap. Otherwise, it might fall down a little bit. Not a big deal, though. It does not have to be perfect. For those of you I know who like things to be perfect, it does not have to be perfect. It won't be perfect. There's always going to be a little wiggle going on. Ta-da! All right. Check it out. How cute are those? So cute. All right, I'm going to put these in the freezer and then I'm going to come back. Let me show you my freezer. Remember where that is? You've seen it before. I have lots of pictures on my refrigerator. All right, I'm going to put these in the freezer. I need to find somewhere nice and flat for them to go. Pizza. Right here. Perfect. Nice and flat. It's going to go in the freezer overnight okay so you're going to keep it in the freezer all night long you can't eat the you can't eat popsicles today unfortunately don't be too sad okay i'm going to show you a different kind you get to make too all right i wasn't closing but that's okay all right the next type we are going to make i've never made these before so you get to make them for the first time with me i got these on Amazon, like I said, and they look like little Ziploc baggies, like that. And it says fill line. That means you're not supposed to get any higher than that, or else they could explode. And this is so cool. Look, it came with this. This is called a funnel. It's a bendy funnel. I've been needing a funnel, so it's perfect. But it's flat. Boop. And there you go. And you stick your funnel in here like this. You see how it's in the bag? This is so you don't spill um, the liquid on the counter. Uh, if you do get these, make sure you ask mom and dad to 
help you hold it because it's kind of got a lot of like finger holding stuff. It's kind of confusing. I'm going to go ahead and pour this in to the line. All the way to the line. Ah, line. I did it. Oh, I don't have a lot of lemonade. It takes a lot of lemonade. It takes a lot of juice. Okay, so when I squeezed it, it went a little higher. But hopefully these don't explode. See, it's a little on top of the fill line. Okay, and then you close it really tight. Like that. Look how cute. And then I will eat them and give them to my son later. All right, so let's make another one. Maybe we can mix the lemonades or something. More. <clears throat> Remember, we're going to use our funnel so we don't spill. Pour our regular lemonade in first. That was not enough. So we're going to pour in our pink lemonade. And we'll mix our flavors. Up a little under this time. You see that line? I think that works better. That works better. Okay. Cool. Make another one. You know, did I tell you? You know where I saw these the first time? I saw them at Miss Sullivan's house. I went to Miss Sullivan's house to swim in her pool. And her kids, Miss Sullivan's kids, were eating these. I was like, Miss Sullivan, how did you make your own Otter Pops? And she told me. And now I'm making them for you. I have to tell you something else, guys. This is really fun. I think you might really enjoy this. They cost $10. On Amazon. Well, we'll see how they turn out. Make one more. And then I want to buy lots of juices. I'm going to buy apple juice for it, and mango juice, and orange juice, and guava juice, and pineapple juice. How delicious would that be? Nice and cold when we're having very hot summer days. Make one more. All the way to the line. You see that line? Whoa. All right, perfect, pretty close. So excited about this, mm, so delicious. Okay, now I am going to also put these in the freezer. We have one, two, three, and four. It's cold, this is so exciting. Here we go, come with me to my freezer. There, am I going? Whoa, no, don't drop them like I did. It didn't open for so much. Put them, lay them, and that's where my ice would go if it wasn't broken. I think that's it for now. Now, I will see you tomorrow when I pull out my popsicles and show you how to eat them, okay? It's the best part. Wait, why is there six sticking out? Okay, I'll show you. Those are nothing. All right, I want you to take those. off. Here, I'll start it. Okay, and then really carefully. What are those? I'm pull this oh my. off. Who's daddy's? I didn't have idea. Those are Cocoa Puffs. Oh, they're not Cocoa Puffs. Yes, they are Cocoa Puffs. Do you want grapefruit, strawberry lemonade, regular lemonade, or that's it? The red peel. Look how cool they are. I want the red color. You want the strawberry lemonade? The strawberry Okay, lemonade. I hope it's frozen. So go ahead and pull one out oh. by the stick. Wait, is it not working? Wait, 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 wait. Hi guys, sorry that last video got interrupted, but I wanted to include it so you could, guys could see me take the saran wrap off because it was kind of cool looking. But here's what both of our kinds of popsicles look like. The first one looks like this. It's square. Look how cute it is. When I gave it to my son, 
Uh, we had to put it in the cup and eat it with a fork though because it fell off really quickly off of the toothpick. But you can kind of lick it too if you want, ah, you know, lick it. Um, and it's really good. But if you're gonna do it and you're gonna do it and really commit, I recommend using the cool Otter Pop container. Isn't that cool? My son liked it a lot. Let me show you, it looks just like an Otter Pop. If you know what an Otter Pop is, it looks just like this. You open the top and then you squeeze it from the bottom. Look at it comes out, ah, it's like a push pop. I'm not gonna eat it because it's a little weird to eat it while I'm filming, but um, just so you guys know, it's really cool. So you should order some of these or make some of these ice cube popsicles. Um, if not this week, then make them this summer. It's something to do. And that's it. So thanks for making popsicles with me. You did great. Thanks for hanging in. And I will talk to you soon. Stay cool.